Hi, my name is Dr. Haider Jan, and I'll be presenting to you this video of vaginal breech delivery. The first thing we need to organize is the position that the mother is to be in. In this video, we're demonstrating the vaginal breech delivery with the mother on her back and the legs up in lithotomy position. So as she's pushing, keep the hands off and await events. Now sometimes you don't require any other intervention at all and the baby will deliver on its own. But for the purposes of this video, we're going to demonstrate some of the maneuvers should you need it. So the first thing we're demonstrating here is to rotate the back to the anterior. Only hold on to the bony pelvis. This is to avoid bruising of the baby. So we're turning the baby so that the back is facing upwards. There we go. Should the back face downwards, then it won't be possible to deliver the baby. So this is an important step. Now we're going to assist the delivery of the legs. Place your finger behind the leg and push behind the knee to lift upwards. This causes flexion in the knee. Now one leg's delivered, we'll show the other side. Again, we put one finger behind the knee, holding the femur, so it splints the leg so the leg doesn't break, and pushing upwards there, so that delivers the other leg. Now we've already rotated the baby into the side position to allow the release of the right arm. And now we're swe sweeping our finger over the top, down into the elbow, pushing downwards to release that arm. Then we lift up 30 degrees, rotate all the way around so that the other arm and shoulder is facing upwards, and then pull down again, and then use the other finger to release the other arm, pushing downwards against the humerus. Now once we're in this position, we can do this maneuver to deliver the head. We deliver the head by flexion. So we put the middle finger on the back of the head and the middle finger and index finger at the cheekbones, not in the mouth, as was previously taught. And we push down and pull with those fingers. So we rest the baby on your right arm and put the position the fingers as we'd shown, and really flex the head for delivery. Now sometimes this doesn't work, or you may choose to use alternative technique, and the forceps is a, a good alternative. So you ask your assistant to hold the legs, and so the baby's in upwards position. You apply the forceps as you would in a normal delivery, by using Finger, light finger touch and inserting it with the thumb you're putting the left forceps first we of course check if the forceps are matching pair and that they lock then using the right forcep again putting gentle pressure with the thumb and inserting the forcep blade around the baby's head you may need to do an episiotomy Then using the right hand, pulling horizontally and using the left push downwards. You bring the baby's head up and then you lift upwards to try and flex the head. Support the perineum. And there we are, we deliver the baby. Well, thank you very much for watching this video. Please have a look at our other videos online. 